All right, I need to revisit um, Pasquale Gordon and the Gordon, the non commutative Gordon product that uh, Basil J. Hiley emphasizes as the key secret of the quantum potential um, that um, is called uh, anti-gravity and the research of Yakir Aranoff, his research group using the weak measurements and so the the it turns out Pasquale Gordon is discussed in um, the book by uh, Joseph P. Farrell, who is citing um, Igor Igor um, Witowski's book on the German Bell of the anti gravity um, UFO research claims. Um, Igor Wit Witkowski and Witkowski cites Pasquale Gordon on the uh, magnetic field separation that was uh, key to the Bell research, the anti gravity Bell plasma project. And so, um, I'm going to just read from the computer, but I'm going to keep it on me just because it's hard to hold, it's hard to focus the phone on the computer. And so essentially, um, Pasquale Jordan, according to Igor, uh, Witowski, they thought they should receive the Nobel prize in 1954 for this work on relativistic plasma vortices and uh, with uh, theory so the, the Jordan theory um, theory <laughs> T-H-I-R and so um, the the interesting thing about Pasquale Jordan is he he wasn't um, brought over to the U.S. as one of the Nazi um, paperclip scientists, but there was people that were collaborating with him that were um, brought over. And um, the reason I return to Pasquale Jordan is because he's mentioned in a 2020 book on... Wolfgang Pauli and um, and uh, Carl Jung on synchronicities. It was Paul uh, Halpern's book that I got, and and so Pasquale Jordan in the nineteen thirties was promoting this idea that the Jungian uh, collective unconscious, as the Freudian repressed was equivalent to the um, uncertainty relation, the Heisenberg uncertainty relation in quantum physics that um, was just called the Bohr complementary between the observation of the particle and the momentum as a wave. And what's interesting, I found this uh, Harvard uh, theology professor um, discussing how the the word that Pasquale Jordan used in his research on um, para, paraphysics what Pasquale Jordan called paraphysics was um, in German it's the verb to produce but um, it also means to conjure a spook or a phantom in during a spiritualist um, gathering us like a uh, uh, seance and so Pasquale Jordan saw the equivalence between the two literally 
And so then when Einstein was critiquing quantum physics as spooky action at a distance, he was literally relying on that the dual meaning of the word uh, to produce in German to mean both to conjure a spirit and to and what Pascal Jordan said was quote observations not only disturb what has to be measured they produce it we compel the um, electron to assume a definite position we ourselves produce the results of measurements and so this is a fascinating um, context to Einstein's objection to this spooky action at a distance. And, I'd, and um, Olivier Costa de Beauregard points out that Einstein did actually use the word telepathy also. So this this paranormal or paraphysics or parapsycho parapsychology uh, context was very explicit at the time in, in Germany in the 1930s. And of course, everybody knows that the you know, the Nazis were into the occult, and then Pasquale Jordan was a big Nazi. And so his science was dismissed, but he he felt vindicated when um, Wolfgang Pauli um, realized the spin um, and then the connection to relativity. That, that corroborated um, Pasquale Jordan's claim of the non-commutativity um, that um, um, Professor Basil J. Hiley has been emphasizing as the Jordan uh, product. So in, in Professor Hiley's email to me, you know, he points out how the Jordan product never gets focused on at all in uh, quantum physics. And, and so um, I was, I recently was discussing this in my video just a couple of videos back quoting um professor basil j highly about the jordan product but what i want to focus on here is the the secret connection of jordan to this anti-gravity spacecraft research by the nazis that then the u.s picked up on for the what became the tr3b for the mercury plasma as anti-gravity. So my argument here is that it's directly tied to the um, the claim of Pasquale Jordan of this um, non-commutativity as the secret of the anti-gravity. And, and so um, later on, uh, Jordan rejected his earlier claim that the consciousness plays a role in the collapse of the wave function because he was a, a positivist. So he believed that the non-commutativity was just limited to the observation of the, as the uncertainty uh, position and momentum you know, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. But if you look at his um, gravitational research that he continued building on, he argued that, um, that uh, to quote um, Joseph P. Farrell, who's quoting um, this physical principles of advanced space propulsion based on Heim's unified quantum field theory, that was a 2012 uh, research paper on future flight propulsion. And so they, they state, it is thus one that balance or equilibrium is unbalanced and enters into non-equilibrium where a preponderance of spin orientation of one or the other type prevails that all physical inter interactions and all matter arises. Non-equilibrium and spin are the very mechanisms, not only for the differentiations of creation, but therefore are also the very mechanisms of the unification of physics. Or to put it in alchemical terms for the quote, embodiment of the medium itself within normal matter, thus Heim's 
theory incorporates and corroborates the fundamental insights of Jordan and Kazirev Kazirev for particles themselves. For they are, quote, geometrical entities that possess an internal structure which is changing cyclically in time. And so that's Joseph P. Farrell's book on uh, saucers, swastikas, and psyops, a history of a breakaway civilization and hidden aerials, aerospace technologies and psychological operations. And like I said, he's citing this 2012 research that that uh, to, I'll quote from again. In other words, matter is caused by the metric, and does and matter does not exist independently. In this respect, it would be correct to say that matter, as we are used to conceive it, is an illusion. All interactions or fields, namely gravitation, electromagnetics, weak and strong forces, are a distortion of the of their proper. Euclidean metrics in a higher dimensional space. This idea was first presented by Heim in 1952 at the International Congress on Aeronautics in Germany. Um, and then, okay, so if two neighboring volumes are interchanged, a spin structure has been realized. In other words, Empty space is both isotropic with regards to its metric as well as its spin structure, but it, it is capable to, to, to develop discrete, discrete structures. Thus, empty space is void of physical events but has inherent potentiality for physical events to happen. In order for an event to happen, a distortion of the Euclidean metric is necessary. In this sense, the, the, geom the theory is a geometric dynamic theory, a term coined by, by Wheeler. Um, they say a, a dot Wheeler, but I think they mean John Wheeler. Maybe that the whole theory is as it is formulated by Heim is based on geometrical language. And then in close collaboration with the relativity theorist Pasquale Jordan, Heim wanted to carry out experiments on gravitation. So here we have, um, that's from the paper that, um, the 2012 paper that uh, Joseph P. Farrell was citing. And so that confirms that Pasquale Jordan was working with Heim, and this was later in the 60s, but in fact, um, Heim um, was, had been inspired by Pasquale Jordan's earlier work um, that they, as they point out, as, as um, Joseph P. Farrell also emphasizes, that it's actually originating from this non-equilibrium, non which in fact is actually non-commutativity. And I don't think um, Joseph P. Farrell ever even uses the term non-commutative or non-commutativity, probably because, you know, he's a humanities um, PhD, so he's just probably hasn't researched the physics enough to familiarize or even discover that, you know, non-commutativity um, term and how that relates to quantum physics, but that's indeed what um, Pasquale Jordan was emphasizing was the non-commutativity. And that's what um, Basil J. Hiley is now emphasizing again as the key to um, this anti-gravity uh, that uh, has been um, demonstrated with the weak measurement experiments of the Yakir Aronoff's research group. And so that brings me back to the the earlier earlier research I'd done on Pasquale Jordan just a couple months ago. No, a year ago in last spring. And this has to do with the plasma research of the um, TR3B and they point out again that 
the um there was a direct connection to Pasquale Gordon uh, arguing that the fifth dimension has to have a varying a varying constant as a quantum gravity and that this was picked up by Bryce DeWitt um, um, despite uh, Jordan staying in Germany and I actually have a book that has a Roger Penrose article that also has an article by chapter by Bryce DeWitt where he talks about anti-gravity um, and so this brings us to the TR3B relying on that same cancellation of gravity using the same mic mercury pr uh, propulsion that was first tested in Germany according to these claims so I'm just going to leave it at that and then to just to go back to um Basil J. Halley, he's just emphasizing again the non commutativity truth, and this is why Pasquale Jordan's physics was first um, ignored because Pasquale Jordan disagreed with Paul Dirac, and Dirac was emphasizing the symmetry, but now um, Basil J. Halley has proven that Dirac was wrong, that he had made an error about that symmetry, and you have to consider the Planck's, Planck's constant squared to discover that quantum potential um, anti-gravity force or new quality of energy that's non-local. So Pascal Jordan, he was indeed correct. He said this also explains the paranormal and also the secret of life as negative entropy for quantum biology. Uh, so he combined all those three things together in the 1930s and um so it's only now that he's being corroborated. And the problem was that he was dismissed originally because um, he was saying this is a psychological factor, but um, everybody at the time was saying, well, it's not, it's limited by Planck's constant as a scale, scaling factor. But, um, but Basel just highly is saying that's not true because when you consider Planck's constant, uh, squared, then you have to take into account the environmental condi conditions. And Basil J. Halley realized this all the way back in 50 years ago in 1971. As I quoted before, he said, by emphasizing the constancy of H-bar in relation to the Heisenberg uncertainty of uh, position and, and momentum, one tends to be led to the notion that the quote disturbance is dependent only on the size of the spell of the cell in phase space. In this way, the overall experimental conditions were tacitly dismissed as irrelevant. So that's exactly why um, Pasquale Jordan was uh, dismissed originally, and so now Basil J. Halley has pointed out why his uh, Jordan product is a key secret to non-locality and anti-gravity, as this video now demonstrates. Thank you.